let's start today's session by silent prayer thank you almighty good morning to all the participants respected father secretary respected principal and vice principal of st joseph's college of arts and science and respected reverend father alex dean of studies and all the faculty members and all the viewers i welcome you all back for international webinar day 2 on the role of ICT in education sector and its impact on students faculties and policy makers yesterday we completed successfully by listening to the speech by dr vel murgan about ICT initiatives taken by MHRD i see call your cooperation for today's session for which we have an eminent speaker to join with us today dr a martin from central university of tamil nadu thus i would like to call upon dr raj kumar assistant professor department of bank management to give official welcome address please sir a very good morning to all welcome you all to the day 2 of the 3 days international webinar on the role of ICT in education sector and its impact on students faculties and policy makers organized by the department of commerce bank management and business administration st joseph's college of arts and science kadalur tamil nadu in this regard i like to welcome our most reverend father secretary g peter rajendram for this international webinar and i also extend my welcome to the resource person of this day dr a martin assistant professor central university of tamil nadu india i also welcome the principal dr arumai silvam vice principal dr john arakiraj controller of examination reverend dr xavier dean of studies and head of the department of commerce bank management and business administration reverend father alex and the shift to in charge dr james mary for this august gathering i also welcome the staff members of our department other departments and other institutions resource scholars students for the international webinar let's have the session fruitful and uh, thank you i humbly request reverend for the secretary peter rajendram to give felicitation address please father respected the resource persons respected reverend father alex the head of the department of bbm and bba respected participants good day to you all this webinar meeting is conducted by the department of bank management and bba of st joseph's college of arts and science kadalur i very happy to give my message on this day this webinar will be of much useful to all the participants those who are interested in teaching and learning how to use the ICT in the teaching and learning methods how to encourage the students to know more about the ICT tools now at present in the time of covid-19 we are all blocked down at home and the learning should go and the teaching should also should be there for all the students to know more things about the their own syllabus at this moment this webinar meeting will be of much useful to all those who are interested in education 
teaching and learning and then doing research and all the people who are encouraged to use more use of ICT tools so that they may encourage other people also to use them. I hope this seminar will be of much useful to all the people. I thank Reverend Father Alex and his team for arranging this seminar and this, this will be a wonderful and interesting and informative session for all those who are participating. So I wish you all the best. Thank you. God bless you. May I call upon Dr. M. Arumai Selvam, Principal, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, to give felicitation address. Please, sir. Respected Reverend Paul Secretary, Respected Vice Principal, Respected Resource Persons, Respected Control of Examination, Dr. Father Xavier, Dean of Studies, Reverend Father Alex, Dear participants, the coordinator of this program, wish you all a very happy and good morning. First of all, I'd like to congratulate and appreciate your father Alex and his team for arranging this webinar on ICT. Yesterday it was begun well, good beginning is half done. So today is second session, second day. Dr. Martin is a resource person. Yesterday, Dr. Wellbergen, Dean of School of Commerce, Central University, Tamil Nadu, has delivered a wonderful session. And tomorrow, Dr. Sathya Narayanan, Professor of Massachusetts University from United States of America, is going to deliver internal issues nicely. This is the correct time, and it is a need of the hour. The ICT is required. And we have been practicing ICT in our campus for the past three years. But I think the participants will be benefited out of this three days program on ICT on various issues. So with these few words, I invite all the participants to interact, listen to the ICT program and be benefited out of this program. Once again, I would like to wish and we thank, congratulate the Department of BCom Bank Management, headed by Reverend for Alex and his team. Wish you all the best. I would like to call upon Dr. John Arokya Raj, Vice Principal and Head Department of Mathematics to give felicitation address. Please, sir. Greetings to all of you. Most respected Reverend Father Secretary, respected Principal, respected Reverend Father Controller of Examination, Father Xavier, respected Dean of Studies and heading the Department of BBSEA, Reverend Father Alex, today's invited speaker, Dr. Martin and other participants. I wish you a very good morning. First and foremost, I congratulate Reverend Father Alex and his team for having arranged a timely webinar on the usage of the ICT. During this lockdown period, we are unstable and we are at the verge of not doing anything. So, at, during this period, someone has to make us to work. This is what the advantage of ICT tools. So, they have taken up a good topic at good time and really I congratulate again all of them and the speaker, Professor Martin, is a very sincere person. I have heard his talkings many times. I hope and wish he will take all of us in the right path and to take uh, to tell us the advantages of the ICT uh, during this period. 
i hope and wish all the participants to actively participate and listen to professor martin to have a great future in near future and again i wish the father alex and his team for having arranged sanjay such a wonderful program during this period thank you now i would like to call upon reverend father a alex dean of studies and head department of bbm and bba to give felicitation address please father most respected reverend father secretary reverend father chief peter rajendram respected principal dr m arme selvam respected vice principal dr j john arikaraj respected reverend father s savior controller of examinations respected heads of the departments faculty members of the department of bbm and bba organizing coordinator respected principals vice principals deans administrators beloved students from various colleges across the world happy morning to you all i welcome all of you to the second day of international webinar on the role of ICT in education sector indeed this is an important topic we all know it covid 19 has made a remarkable change remarkable change of classroom setting classroom teaching and etc so that is why uh, we have chosen this topic on the first day professor dr vel murgan gave a wonderful speech what are all the initiatives the mhrd and ugc have taken to impart teaching so we have very number of uh, uh, teaching platforms and today we have the speaker respected dr a martin assistant professor in the department of computer science working in central university of tamil nadu tiruvaru so we have this speaker today so who will concentrate on the student setting student background how far the student is able to accept this ict how far they are used to it do they welcome it or do they not welcome it what is the situation so what is their mentality what is their idea behind this ict so so for, from that aspect today's speaker will throw the light open to all of us so i welcome all the participants i welcome this uh, uh, respected speaker uh, for their valuable presentation and at this moment i would like to thank reverend father secretary for his support and concern and also i thank principal vice principal and controller of examinations and all the people for their wonderful support also i thank the channel raj lakshmi channel for their support for their live streaming i thank each and every one of you respected dignitaries staff members and participants of various colleges a very good morning to you all it gives me immense pleasure to introduce dr martin aldas the chief guest of today's webinar dr martin aldas is an assistant professor in the department of computer science school of mathematics and computer sciences central university of tamil nadu tiruvarur he has more than 16 years of work experience which includes academic research and teaching his research interest includes business intelligence soft computing multi criteria reporting and information delivery techniques he has published research papers in world highly recognized journals such ieee transactions on evolutionary computation elsevier emerald indescience and other top journals his research work on qualitative bankruptcy data set has been recognized by center for machine learning and intelligent systems brain school of information and computer science university of california usc he is an emc2 certified data science and big data analytics programmer and oracle java 2 program certified programmer He has received many awards and recognition for his research work, teaching and training. He has received faculty mentor certification for the Great Mind Challenge 2007, 8 and 10 from 
IBM. He played a key role in IBM, the Great Mind Challenge, as a coordinator to bring Best Performing College Award for Sri Manakula Vinayagar Engineering College, Puducherry, consequently for six years since 2007. He has organized many symposiums, workshops and training programs with IBM India and from other nationally recognized training institutions. I thank my head of the department, Reverend Father A. Alex, for giving me an opportunity to introduce to Dr. Martin Sir this gathering. Thank you. Very good morning, one and all. I welcome everyone for this international webinar on the topic, Impact of ICP on Students. First, I wish to thank our beloved Reverend Father Secretary, Peter Rajendram for giving me this wonderful opportunity. I also thank the principal, vice principal, controller of examinations, and the dean for this wonderful opportunity. My special thanks to the organizing team, which is led by Reverend Father A. Alex. He is uh, also heading the department. Department of Bank Management, Department of Business Administration. Mr. Reverend Father A. Alex and his team, real congratulations to you, Father. Because this topic is very, very important. If you look into the around the India, a lot of webinar is going on on different topics. But very few webinar is focusing on students. One such a webinar is this one. And also this is the international webinar. The, the title, the objective of this webinar is very interesting and most wanted. So that's why uh, I, I, I selected the thing COVID impact a mix of challenges and opportunities for the students. Now, let us move into the topic, impact of ICT on students. What is ICT? Information Communication Technology. That means how the ICT is applied in different field for exchange of information and for the other things. This particular international webinar is the best example for this ICT. Just think of it. I am in one place. Reverend Father is in another place. Participants are in different parts of the world. They are using different kind of media. Some people are using desktop computer, some people are using laptop, some people are using smartphone. All the people are connected through a medium called as YouTube. Now the live stream is going on. Everybody is watching this particular uh, webinar. So that's the power of ICT. ICT is not for only education field. The common phenomena, it can be applied to any field. Just think of its railways. The railways ICT is applied. Every field, just for example, taking railways. In the, from your computer, you can book the ticket. From your mobile, you can book the ticket. Once upon a time, you have to stand in the queue for a long time. Now, Takal, my, a methodology is introduced. You can book the ticket. Not only that one, all the train engine, GP is enabled. What's the advantage? A lot of mobile apps are there, which will say where the train is now. It will indicate the position, when it will reach, whether it's coming in time or half an hour late or 10 minutes late, everything. That is, ICT is applied in railways. Just think of it in government. Now, ICT is applied successfully. 
when you want to apply some certificate birth certificate or any uh, name correction aadhar or obc certificate whatever the thing you need not worry simply go to the e seva center you have to apply it within two or days once it is approved you will get back it but previously you have to go to the different officers you have to wait you have to meet so that's the power of icp it is applied in all the field so today our discussion is what's its impact on students but student is not a individual entity you think student is it's a entity combined with a teacher education institute society and everywhere so specifically we are going to discuss about its impact on students so agenda of this presentation is first i was i want to introduce about what is ict it's a definition teaching and learning using ict impact on covid 19 on ict opportunities for students challenges so these are the different topics we are going to discuss it's very interesting so you will you will come to know that the various tools because of the tools how the teaching and learning is going on what the change the ic the covid 19 has made on ict it's very interesting so opportunities challenges so these are the agenda of this presentation just i want to define the ict so ict is a collection of different tools laptop mobile phone internet camera smart board or board social media why i am adding social media here through social media today we are sharing all kind of data through social media now we are watching the webinar lot of now in the live chat you are giving comment some people saying i have i want to please clarify this one that one so it's a dynamic so it icd is a combination of uh, different kind of field then what way it can be defined that is store ict is to store retrieve manipulate transmit or receive information electronically in a digital form that's important receive the things electronically in a digital form so it has been applied in variety of field for the purpose of manipulation of information in a efficient manner just i want to make you a small discussion on ict on family so you may be wonder why this particular discussion nowadays we are in the lockdown we are in the home most of the education institutions all the professors all the students we are in the home everyone in the home started to use the ict tools in my home last two weeks before what happened i was taking classes to my students through skype my wife is attending one webinar my daughter is attending hindi class through online with mobile phone and my son is attending sip abacus class with another mobile phone and also one cousin is uh, uh, son is with us he is from dubai due to lockdown he was in my home now he is attending online class from dubai so in the family everyone started to use the ict tools maybe directly or indirectly then what are the general ict tools are available for teaching and learning so specifically for teaching what are the tools so internet television smartphones projector pen drive digital cameras 
டெலிகான்பரன்சிங் டிஜிட்டல் லைப்ரரி போட்டோ காப்பியர் பிரிண்டர் பாப்லெட் டேப்லெட் டெஸ்க்டாப் லேப்டாப் சோ மெனி திங்ஸ் வீடியோ கான்பரன்சிங் so all these things are part of the ict let us listen carefully all these things are part of the ict we have the thing internet which connects computers for the exchange of information now we have the technology called as internet of things internet now what's the thing internet of things through the internet of things all these devices can be connected all the parts of this ict can be connected first i will explain about what this internet of things previously we had internet previously we have now also we are having internet in the internet of things all the devices i told you we connected suppose for example in the home you are having a smart fridge what's the smart fridge it will display what are the vegetables are available what is the quantity it is available it will say and also how many eggs are in the fridge this particular fridge is connected with your mobile device now you are moving to a shopping mall or going for a shopping so the mobile device understood that now you are in a shopping mall through google map then it's give alert to smart fridge in terms of smart fridge give you a alert brinjal is not available tomato is not available only two eggs are available then you can start to purchase so that's see here your mobile phone your location your fridge everything is connected not only fridge in the fridge what are the items the brinjal the the vegetables the egg everything is connected so that is the special of internet of things one more example i'll give you suppose you are uh, driving a car you are going in a restricted area that is the speed limit is only 30 km now you are going more than 30 the iot which is available in our car the iot device which is available in the car which is says you are exceeding the limit or if it is very smarter it will give the information to the police department this particular cycle is going beyond 30 km speed dear friends that's the power of iot which will connect all the devices which will make in future the online learning can be a personalized learning very interactive learning it is going to happen very soon yes. the next one is uh some more tools i was wish to introduce poplet that's a one new technology you might be here so what this poplet means it's a mind mapping tools it will allow to visualize the ideas it will try to map the ideas so that's a tool available for a mind mapping it's a collaborative brainstorming tool poplet then one more thing i want to introduce about alexa some might have heard if you are the frequent visitor of uh, amazon.com uh, surely i you never miss this particular advertisement amazon echo so that's a technical name the marketing name is uh, given is bus name is given is alexa alexa find something it will find it it is a uh, it's works technology machine learning technology nlp natural language processing it will understand your voice and whatever you are saying i want find the difference between 
internet and internet of things if you say to alexa the alexa will try and find the information for you i want hear this particular song it will do it how it works the technology behind that machine learning technology what this machine learning technology machine is going to learn something based on the learning it is going to work suppose you assume in your class and you are having 50 students you asked all your 50 students write the number 7 and check it all the sounds are identical certainly not everybody having their own writing style the sound will not be same but still your computer your system able to identify this is number 7 even 100 numbers 100% are writing the number 7 the system able to identify this is number 7 that's a power of technology behind the this amazon echo amazon voice based search this this i i think you might have experienced google translate translating them from one language to another language suppose i want to find some meaning uh, some word in uh, word in tamil to english i need not uh, type it simply i can say something mambadam then google translate will understand it will intend will give even you are try giving some other language it will malayalam it will understand it will give the meaning so the ict information communication technology comprise of all these technologies popular google translate amazon echo that's not amazon echo that is a machine learning techniques nlp natural language processing so these are the different kind of ict means it is composes of different kind of technology for the effective utilization of information next one is emerging technologies for interactive learning what this emerging technologies for interactive learning you yeah, now we are carrying out the interactive learning what this one now we are using youtube through the youtube live stream is going on webex is there google meet is there skype is there google do is there zoom is there microsoft teams are there to to conduct different kind of meeting to conduct online teaching these tools can be used that is the interactive learning in the ict through zoom or through webex you can meet persons online meeting can be conducted i hope everybody has experienced this one not only the ict has interactive platform we have the integrated platform see the meaning integrated what is the meaning of integrated Com combining the things what you are going to combine you are going to combine different online courses that is a mooc is the one of the integrated platform available for ict what you will do we are going to discuss the next slide massive open online courses you can open you can open the online courses you can learn it for the one lot of uh, mediums are there google classroom edmodo so schoolology these are the different kind of uh, tools are available for interactive things now we just so far we just discussed uh, the different kind of uh, tools comes under the ict now we are going to discuss in the teaching and the learning how these tools can be applied that's the thing we are going to discuss in order to better understand the things i want to just discuss about the evolution of education from 1.0 to 4.0 due to industrial revolution 
lot of revolution also happened in the education what is this education 1.0 like endran 2.0 like this uh, the education 1.0 it is simply a classroom teaching talk and talk the teacher will dictate student will learn then second era is uh, education 2.0 what this 2.0 impact of world wide web in education system so websites has been developed for education purpose dynamic websites static websites and also people started to transfer the information through email through messengers so teacher to student then student to student communication happened like this way then third era is uh, education 3.0 that's very 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 it, the power the impact it created that is varieties of way to integrate technology into learning classroom teaching into digital teaching classroom teaching into the online teaching this is a thing happen in the 3.0 so nowadays we are having so many online courses offered by different kind of institutions we are going to have a discussion detailed discussion so that's the power of education 3.0 online learning classroom to online classroom interaction between staff and the student interaction between st student to student all these things up now the era is education 4.0 we are almost 40 to 50 percent we have shifted from education 3.0 to education 4.0 what's the speciality of this one i already told you about the two technology machine learning and the internet of things internet of things connects the devices connects all kind of devices your pen drive your pen your fridge your home your network your working place all the things all the devices can be connected for the efficient exchange of information to execute the things efficiently smartly one more technique artificial intelligence you might have heard this technology artificial intelligence what is this one in the 3.0 you are having a online learning content is common to all the candidates who are attending the class but if you take the class whether all the students in the same level certainly it is not at all possible what wherever the thing whatever the thing surely there will be a the level of understanding level of uh, picking up all will be differs that's why ugc said you have advanced learners you have average learners you have slow learners how a single online learning class will address all this kind of candidates no so we need a some kind of special technology for personalized learning customized learning this is going to happen because of these technologies artificial intelligence you know it you you, you can see this picture sofia how many of you know about this sofia world's first humanoid it looks like a human but it's not a human that's why it's called as a humanoid it will mimic like a human you might have watched the endran film that city is there the robo which is developed by vasigiran the city is a one humanoid so the artificial intelligence what with the human things the like ways you are trying to enrich the knowledge of the system the software to behave 
so the education field also the the recent technologies like artificial intelligence machine learning internet of things and other techniques surely make going to make the thing the education as a personalized learning personalized education so that's the thing going to happen very soon so that's a era is a education 4.0 now we are moving from 3.0 to 4.0 just i want to introduce massive open online courses few more discussions first it is a online course aimed at unlimited participation and open access via web any number of persons can participate in this particular course and it is also open access anyone can join what it does what's the advantage it's a collaboration between institution educators and learners locally and internationally i am a student who is studying in kadalur in on in st joseph's college i find some some expertise one particular teacher in iit bombay or iit madras or even some faculty from harvard university on a particular field he is specialized in the particular area he want learn this particular concept yes you can learn it definitely it is possible nowadays the technology provide the option through mooc you can enroll any course at anywhere in the world if it is offered through online that's why it's we are saying it's a easy access to global resources not only from our nation students from other nations are enrolling our our uh, uh, swayam like this our students are uh, studying enrolling from different universities so what's the thing it improves it is lifelong learning skills lifelong you can learn it every day new courses in the best so that's a uh, mooc is a platform but it is available in a different uh, ways swayam so you know it it is offered by ministry of human resource development government of india it's a totally free this course is so expansion of this one is study webs of active learning for young aspiring minds swayam it's very 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 superb medium dear students i hope most of the faculties know about this swayam some of the faculties may be enrolled students please visit the site swayam so many courses from different faculties belong to different institutions are offering you can enroll the course you can complete the course successfully you will be provided the certificates it has worth the certificate is having worth trademark certificate some i wish to discuss about some special features because it's a, this a, the the uh, ict impact on students the forcible change it is going to happen in the student side that's why i want to say some special special features of this swayam first one is convenience of learning if you don't more don't have mood you need not study just you watch flame or chat with the friends once you free once you find time then you can start to learn it that's a, you can play the video at any time it delivers quality education irrespective of your geographical location you may be any part of the world any part of the india you may be in a rural place just you need network connection you need a smartphone that's enough you can start to learn from any teacher from any world that's it so that's why it say mooks allow students sitting in the most remote corner of the world get access to the best of educational content so student can choose best teacher i already told you if you if you find some teacher in good in this particular area you can enroll the course 
यू कैन लर्न कम अप कर सकते देन व्हाट आर द रिकॉग्निशन दिस कोर्स इज हैविंग वर्क सो फर्स्ट वन इज यू कैन एक्सेस दिस कोर्स थ्रू दिस वेबसाइट https swayam.government.in or you can mobile apps also available they can download from the google play store and uh, swayam offers one important thing you must understand it offers only individual courses not a whole degree not like a bsc chemistry or bsc computer science or data science uh, based data science not that such kind of course it won't allow uh, it allows individual courses suppose i want uh, specialize in python i want professor in data science i want to professor in marketing the uh, business data analytics like this kind of courses are it's uh, it offers and these courses whatever the credit you are getting from this course that you can transfer to the regular course that provision is available that you this allows what you are going to learn through swayam once you clear the exam the credit available for the course that can be transferred to the regular stream all the colleges providing such options it may be enquire or college and also <clears throat> the the moves suppose you are enrolling to a new course in the classroom teaching usually a teacher will explain very neatly very clearly sometimes you are not able to understand you will repeat again suppose five times six times if you are want to repeat the concept sometimes it is difficult it's human nature human tendency but here in the online course the video you can forward you can rewind you can play it again and again you can understand the concept these are the best benefits of the online courses so see these pictures indian institute of technology madras central institute of tamil nadu central institute of all part of india Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore, Saint Joseph College of Arts and Science, Kerala. From any institution, you can learn the course. Any institution can offer this course because due to some reasons, some situations, you may not get admission on some institutions what you expected. But still, that institution offers online course. You can join. You can get the technology. You can upgrade your knowledge. and you can get a better positions in your life swayam is it is provided by government of india then what are the other mooc providers from other nations just see here edx edx coursera the city khan academy so different uh, uh, institutions offering the online courses you can enroll you can get the certificates that can that will be useful for your career development but uh, what's the difference between swayam and other these uh, these other mooc providers that uh, this certificate cannot be used as part of the degrees from indian universities what is the credit which is uh, given through swayam that the credit you cannot get through the uh, other mooc providers that's the only difference next one is you may have some doubt in your mind if you go to youtube i will type something i will get so many things why this swayam and all these things the same if you type in the youtube you type type something impact of covid on ict so many videos are available or marketing management sales management you type it you get so many things YouTube also so many videos are available. So I'm also a lot of videos. Are, what's the difference? In the YouTube, it's unstructured. There is no a structured thing. But Swayam or MOOC, it's a structured. Well developed content is available. It is segregated into modules. You need module one, module two, module three, module four. Like this, it is structurally formed. Start from the from level to advanced. You can learn it. The YouTube. log in sign up all these things are not required where is here you have to sign up you have to log in there is a learner centric you are going to learn yourself here guidance is there teacher guidance is there mentorship is there students so many teachers so many good teachers are there you will get a mentorship you can establish a good relationship 
that will be very much useful for your career where you just want pg students when you want go for higher education when you want do some kind of project so the mooc swayam provides wonderful environment to build the relationship and in the youtube and all you have to search video by video then you can find a good video but that's not case in swayam over is there privy is there so many professor there same course offer with different professors you can see it if you are comfortable then you can join it and you have the option of joining any course trial and basis you can select the particular course and which course if you are interested that course you can go for exam and also i told swayam so structured format that is a complete learning you will be saying a comprehensive understanding is provided by the swayam that is you will be having video lectures and you will be given assignment each week you will be given assignment you will be given quiz you have to answer it you will be that, that will be evaluated mark is awarded you also provide learning material question answer will be there evaluation will be there that the four quadrants are available it is structured very well neatly the government have planned for the citizen for the students so don't miss today yourself you join some course in the swayam according to your uh, interest i told the swayam offers skill based learning what is the skill based learning what is the skill based learning just think of it our prime minister many times while you are addressing the public we need skill based learning suppose you are a computer science student only your domain knowledge is sufficient when you go for any industry any area interdisciplinary skill is required you are developing projects for banking finance sector railways manufacturing chemical uh, uh, organizations industries medical field army so only your computer knowledge is enough you must have the domain knowledge in the classroom teaching according to the syllabus you will be teaching you will be getting the knowledge there are also they are providing value added courses additional courses in addition to that if you want improve your skill on a particular uh, subject which is not offered in the curriculum you must choose swayam so while you are going for a job your career you have multi skill you have interdisciplinary skill those things you can get through only swayam now we are going to the next part of our discussion it's very quite interesting because i am going to discuss about what experience i had with the, the last two months impact of covid 19 on ict very interesting part just we'll see it i have taken this uh, particular discussion into two parts one is situation before lockdown another one is after covid if you look for uh, before covid things are very usual regular classes assignments exams semester break every day we will go to college very happily we will be attending class coming back last three months we are in the home missing so many things that's all not most of you just know about swayam but number of students aware about online courses it's i i hope minimum only and uh, most of the faculties knows only skype they thought that skype is the only way to have the video conferencing i'm not saying all the faculty some faculty think about only skype is the only thing and some other faculties already used the google classroom few webinars conducted by some different organizations 
and uh, many of the teachers or uh, students not participate in the webinar because the timing is not matches with us this is a situation before that thing we not much worried about online this uh, ICT tools, ICT techniques. Now you'll we'll go for a, another thing. Impact of COVID-19 on ICT. Just think that what are the ICT tools you know it? You know about, now you know about Google Classroom, Google Meet, Zoom, Skype, WhatsApp, Google group, so many things. So I am MOOCs, Moodle. So once lockdown was imposed by government of India to control spreading of coronavirus, most of the institutions started to implement the ICT meaningfully. That's why today we are uh, attending a webinar. This just college has taken a lot of initiatives. I know it. Once the lockdown is imposed, they have started to give the assignments to the students through WhatsApp. The students will be writing the assignments, scanning, and they'll be sending back to the teachers. And in turn, they'll be providing the feedback. And also, they conduct the test also. They're given some time limit. Within the time limit, they ask to write and scan and send back to the teachers. This college has taken a lot of effort. So that's why I'm saying. After the lockdown, the most of the students started to implement the ICT meaningfully. Online classes conducted over Moodle, Skype, WhatsApp, and Google Classroom. Fine, we discussed both opportunities. We discussed both before COVID, after COVID. Now, because of that, not only COVID, through ICT, what are the opportunities are available for students? It's a very crucial point of our presentation. Just see here, many students participated actually to attend the online classes. Some of the students also attended webinars. Study material, assignments, or shared through Moodle, Google Class, Google Group, Mail, WhatsApp, all these things. Many of students join online courses conducted by various institutions. And our Swayam also going to, now they have opened the portal, they have listed the courses. All these courses are going to start in the month of July 2020. So these are things that are happening. These are the opportunities are available. I wish to say something about a webinar. Very, 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 very interesting, very useful during this COVID. It has provided a wonderful opportunity for the faculty and students to enrich the knowledge. It is superb. When you want to attend any seminar or five days workshop or three days workshop, whatever thing, first thing is you have to get the permission from your management. It's very difficult. During the class hours, how you will be allowed? For that, you have to do some kind of alterations. Then the management permits. Then next thing is you should move out of your home. Then you have to pay the money registration cost, then GADA, you have to stay there, you have to daily expenditure is there. More than that, you cannot uh, go for all kind of institutions. Some might be in a very long distance, you have to plan it, you have to make a long travel, but this webinar simplified everything with without any cost you can be able to get quality webinars that's a, your knowledge and dear students and faculty 
the last two months i hope if you attended some webinars surely you have benefited the covid just some memes i just shared here so back to college after lockdown so back of certificates this person has a confusion whether what's which webinar today because so many webinars are nowadays uh, enrolled and this is uh, one thing the world right now is in a uh, pandemic stage but still the faculties are uh, 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 taking this uh, situation and also they are giving online classes online webinar to the faculty fac faculty to faculty student to st uh, faculty to student all these things are happening so that's the best of webinar then uh, for your information i want to uh, introduce i want to uh, share some information uh, csar uh, called for summer research training program thing is that online that's the thing now it is offered through online i told technology is there ict tools are there which will provide online so the deadline is june uh, 5 2020 and uh, who can apply see here MSc first year second year BTech B students MCA first year second year MTech students MPharm not only students faculty also can enroll who the maximum age is 40 years so you may be belong to state universities central universities private universities you want any education institutions you can try it then silent futures you will be given mentors you will be given certificate you will be attending online lectures from eminent scientists then selection process is there and see the discipline chemistry biology physics engineering data science artificial intelligence machine learning mathematics geoscience pharmacy medicine i told see here the data science is there ai is there machine learning is there data analytics is there all the latest field is there that's what i want to mention is that online it is offered in online technology ict makes the things possible then another thing i already told you swayam enrollment already started you can uh, join surely you have to do the course now this uh, just for example it go given here business analytics and text mining modeling using professor from iit rukuri is offering top professors top institutions offers join learn win and also uh, would me would me that's from other country they are uh, offering the course and uh, heavy discount they are given just go through it you can get the idea you think which is you want to it and also i want to share one more information that is uh, uh, our students central university of students our msc final students got a project from uh, tamil nadu state council for science and technology under the scheme student project scheme st joseph college also i think they got three projects under this scheme so the title of the project is a study and development of mobile app for fisher women in nagapattinam district to reduce complexity for selling of fish so we are developing a mobile app for fisher women to sell the fishes through mobile phone uh, the grant is 7500 why i want to introduce that first thing is that i want to give the information about this kind of scheme you next year you can approach you can submit the project proposal just think innovatively and send it so if you get this kind of project when you go for interview you can say sir i completed this project see the demo the mobile itself i am having the project your knowledge is tested you are giving us a product you are selling with your project you will get the jump you will get the jump immediately here all the meeting regarding the project with my students i conducted through skype even if they they have some problems through desktop uh, capture i captured the their desktop and uh, whatever the configuration errors we rectified so that's the power of technology everything is possible for computer science lot of online cloud based medium is there there you can store you can 
development environment is there you can develop all the things are possible not only government of india government of tamil nadu our government of india our tamil nadu is conducting so many events make my make india like this concept also the private companies mnc is also conducting the competitions throughout the year if you go for ibm they are conducting masterminds they are uh, already conducted the great mind challenge inis is conducting cloud 2020 summer internship that is a, again cloud 20 every year it is called you have to submit the proposal and uh, if it is uh, uh, good then you will be called for second stage you will be assigned mentor that's through online they will be guiding you then the third stage final stage in final stage you have to go to the organization and to present it now everything is we can do it through online infosys is offering ict is it is offering ict is conducted so many online courses for students and faculty so students competitions nowadays all the organizations are conducting competitions through competitions they are identifying the creamy students suppose uh, think about our uh, tamil nadu state council of science of technology almost uh, so many number of projects the granted uh, given the grant more than 10000 uh, proposals they might have received similarly here also <clears throat> when tcs is conducting an event code vita almost so many number of students all over the world they are participating so through that online events they are identifying the creamy students even you know not be a good communicator but still if you have knowledge you will be identified you will be given job but communication skill is very very important you are not talking to only regional level you are talking to people all over the world all over the india so you must have the good communication skill and not only that one online phd viva is conducted i also attended this viva this is conducted by pondicherry university conducted by department of banking technology in the month of may 15 they conducted our central university also conducting lot of phd viva through online all the institution now started to conduct the phd viva through online see lot of breakthrough see here once it is conducted in the university campus of the institution now it is conducted through online the government the university allows so make you have to make use of the opportunity the final part of the presentation is challenges i am not stopping with challenges i am ending the challenge i am i will what way this challenge can be converted into a opportunity that's why i mentioned personalization in ict how the challenge can be converted into their personalization first we will discuss some challenges but these challenges always whatever thing always challenge always disadvantage always limitation with that but we have to come across we have to come over it we have to identify new strategies that's the that's why you are called as human fine first thing is attention towards online courses it's a very important thing how long you were attentive to the online course fine if it is recorded video you have the option if it don't if you feel bored or if you are not interested if you feel tired stop it take rest again watch it but if it is live class then what will happen now the live webinar now the live webinar is going on i am able to assume before me 3600 students faculties are there to them i am teaching even though i am talking to uh, sitting before my laptop but i am reaching all you people through this youtube but still you have the option of uh, you can mute your video you can mute your audio when the online class is going on we cannot expect all the students will be yeah, uh, listening and watching uh, always this kind of setbacks will be there but 
a faculty can make the thing possible so it is possible that's a that's a, some limitation i'm saying then uh, then what are thing i am missing interaction among the student faculty in the classroom wow what a great environment when we are discussing that concepts with our students lot of examples lot of fun that i am missing the online thing it is possible but something so that's a one thing and also student to student interaction that also we are missing though in the online we are discussing and doing but physical uh, the uh, interaction that is that we are missing and one more thing in the classroom when the, when we are taking classes uh by seeing the student face itself you can able to understand whether he is understood or not understood the concept he is not by seeing the face you will decide the teacher will decide no some problem you will go and expand again or you will put some strategy or you will say that uh, no problem uh, you will give some work you do this one tomorrow you will have the discussion uh the only thing all these things are possible but uh, person to person these things are uh, very uh, these things are we are missing the seeing the student face and uh, uh, giving the things when i am conducting skype classes skype classes uh, my students will put the uh, audio into uh, meet as uh, so a not audio video into meet by seeing the student face uh, it's it's a teaching is someone something very interesting but that thing is missing in the online then other kind of problems network connectivity bandwidth problem it is always there uh, my students who is in uh, uh, telangana is in the remote village she is not able to uh, she don't have a, a, a laptop she is maintaining everything with a mobile phone network connectivity also problem and one student uh, he kept uh, laptop in his hostel uh, itself we thought that he will be coming back very soon so he is not able to carry out the project so these are the some difficulties which we faced uh, during this covid but it is not a, a regular problem it's a, it's a, it is unusual so that can, that for that problem we can find the solutions and just for your information uh, suppose uh, in a family four members are uh, using online classes so every day every person needs minimum or needs 2 gp per day you need to spend 8 gp how much amount you have to spend so we have service for bsnl jio airtel idea but still the cost is there these are the some limitations are there then some more limitations uh that's the these things already we discussed uh, but one thing is e learning requires strong self motivation time management skills if it is uh, online class the student should uh, because while attending the class you can more easily jump into some other thing in the mobile is some other uh, mobile app you can use it the laptop you may see some uh, some other thing you can mute both video and audio you can see some other thing so self motivation is strong self motivation is required that's very important thing then uh, all in section tend to focus on theory rather than practice so that's one another major setback uh, certain disciplines surely you need a lab set up chemistry physics biology computer science uh, virtually can do it because of the cloud we can do it others also do it uh, virtually but still uh, doing uh, lab experiment is very very essential for those cases uh it's a limitation uh, other things i told e learning lacks face to face communication reasons limited to certain disciplines uh, all these things are available suppose uh, in the music veena uh, all these things uh, the instructor should with you should sit with you and you have to say that is special kind of experience so those things are you are missing and uh, one more thing mal practice usually happen in the online assessment but technology is there 
see the next slide spot the cheaters yeah I, this is i taken from this uh, paper cut the exams moved to bedroom but innovator still watching you may thought that you can get help from somebody else you can sit in the lab and get help from others but technology won't leave you so a is there so it will watch keenly every move on webcam and record somebody else and some kind of disturbance is there artificial intelligence there the powerful technia technology for ict and image recognition whether martin is sitting or somebody is sitting good good image recognition is there it will identify even if you try to open some browser or some file you will be identified software are there pakka software are available under live proctor is there indicator is there the artist according to the institution uh, requirement and uh, another important thing is you will be having ai which will monitor eye line and know if you keep looking in one direction so these are the uh way some mal practice can happen but that can prevented using the technology dear students though there is a possibility of doing cheating the online exams or online classes but still the ict technology will help you converting this disadvantages into the opportunities the same technology the same image processing artificial intelligence machine learning iot can be applied this online learning online into a more customized very suitable learning for the students so uh, then some more resources i want to say that so audio video e content you can uh, you can use swayam uh, then swayam prabha is there Uh, you can uh, you can watch high quality educational programs are available it's a tv uh, view digital course on tv then you have digital content access journals and uh, ebooks uh, for then you have national digital library uh, e pg pathsala there you can have ebooks till up to pg should ganga everybody is know that uh, uh, all the indian theses are available then e should sindhu is there that's a, you can access e resources then also uh, accelerated hands on learning hands on learning also possible for the one e andra is there then post e is there these are the some resources are available and a spoken tutorial is there virtual labs are available so using this so lot of tools are available i wish to end this uh, particular presentation with a small uh, story there is a one person uh, balloon selling uh, vendor is a uh, person that what this man will do he will take his uh, uh, bicycle there you will be having the cylinder it's you uh, will be selling the gas balloons he will be visiting uh, village by village and selling the balloons one day he is uh, going for a village a small boy is coming after seeing the gas balloon he is coming very happily and he is rich that man balloon selling man and asking uncle you have different colors of balloon he is seeing a black color balloon uncle whether this balloon will fly he says yes it will fly then he is seeing orange color whether it will fly yes he is saying yes it will fly then you showing red color uncle whether it will fly the uncle politely saying yes it will fly but the the boy not start not stop out of his curiosity again he is asking uncle this green color balloon fly then the gentleman understood the balloons are saying that my dear boy the color doesn't matter the gas which is present inside the balloon makes the balloon to fly dear students my dear colleagues my dear faculties dear friends attitude is 
make the things possible what kind of attitude you are having that that makes the difference if you want make a successful online classes surely it is possible if you have the attitude that's the that's the moral of the story it is not color it is the matter present inside the balloon it's the attitude present in the faculty in the student so these are the references i used so dear students just i shared what are the ict tools what are the different technologies what are the mediums are available like swayam mooc then integrating platforms then before covid after covid opportunities limitations we discussed everything so it lies the thing come up be the winners once again i wish to thank the organizers the organizing team for the wonderful effort for the conduction of this international webinar thank you thank you one and all for giving me this wonderful opportunity thank you one and all thank you very much